again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kento, and I'm back with Scribble Knots Unlimited. This is the object editor commentaries where I create whatever it is you guys are requesting, as long as it's voted the most popular, i.e., the most amount of different people are requesting it each week, then that object will get created in Scribble Knots Unlimited, the object editor. We started off with the source object of a titan for today's object. You want to go with the male titan, it will sometimes give you the female variation and whatnot. So, here, this ensures that you can get it by uh, my design. Of course, I encourage everybody to make their own kind of designs out of this, but hopefully these videos kind of help you along in creating your own version of these characters. Today's characters are actually, it's just two of them, from the somewhat new Mortal Kombat X. We're gonna first create Reptile, but we've also got fan favorite Scorpion. So these are the two that were most requested. Now a lot of people just said, make uh, Mortal Kombat X characters, you know? And so sometimes a series like this, you know, uh, obviously Mortal Kombat, it has tons of characters. And I think the most I've ever created in one episode was either in one of the subscriber special and those didn't even really go in depth. But it was either one of those or when I made the Avengers, I think. Because uh, when I made the Avengers, I did a whole bunch of characters from the Age of Ultron movie. But let's see here. We just took the thigh piece of a frost giant. So the upper leg thigh part. And then Kappa is for the little legs that are underneath his pants, basically. These are reptiles' pants. And Anarchist head is what we're going to use as the kind of source for his head. Now I am going to make two different designs for reptile. One is going to be the two-parter thing where I make the head separate from the the body and then connect them. But if your skills, I guess, are a little bit more basic and stuff, you can kind of do it uh, for this first design right here. Below the head right now, we've actually got the letter I, and it has a little paint pattern on it that shows all those lines and things. And then those uh, spikes on the side of those are dunce cap. So just type in dunce cap and go into the pattern library and color it appropriately. I made them a little bit like a white yellow pattern. It's uh, to show that they're kind of white, but they're a little bit off white and dirty. So then we've got this uh, arm that's on the fourth page, I believe, of the 29 page library that's going to be in the middle as well as for the pupils of reptiles eyes because reptile has the kind of animal predator eyes you know <laughs> predators in the animal kingdom obviously you know they kind of have those vertical eyes and we've also got eyebrows down there but look at this uh, I just put on another dunce cap I copied it and we got the stamp space warning so basically if you're not familiar with the uh, scribble knots unlimited the object editor you only have a limited amount of space so yes unlimited does have its limits and by space I mean each little component that you use to make your main character or object is a stamp. And so you only have a limited amount of stamp space. But anyway, we are in the properties editor now. This is where you can do the scripting and how much health it has and all that stuff, how much it weighs, blah, blah, blah. This is where I like to read background information or fun facts on the characters that we're creating. So for today's first character, here we go. Sizoth, I believe that's how you pronounce it, S-Y-Z-O-T-H, uh, also known as Reptile, is one of the few original characters left in Mortal Kombat, making his debut in the original Mortal Kombat arcade game as a secret character, he became playable in Mortal Kombat 2. He's a reptilian humanoid character who is definitely one of my favorite in the series and has been through many vast design changes. I always loved when he was actually a lizard man being, you know, when they actually made him very lizardish. Those were always my most favorite of his character designs. Obviously, as I am honoring them in this video, he's one of the characters, of course, appearing in Mortal Kombat X, and in that game's story, he follows Kotal Khan and helps bring about Melina's downfall from the throne. I guess I shouldn't say anymore. I mean, that's probably already spoiler enough. If you're watching my videos already, you're kind of rolling the dice. And the game's been out for a while, so I mean, whatever. So here we are. We're in the Volcano. This is a fun level of Scribble Knots. I think it's uh, great for our characters today, for Mortal Kombat characters. So here we go. We've got uh, Reptile MKX is what I've named it. And I actually created it right here. You can see that design on the right. I really liked how that turned out, but I didn't realize I've actually never edited with the Frost Giant as the source object, and that's what that one is on the right, and so that's why he's dripping like that. He's got the puddles dripping out from his face. Uh, that's something that happens when you've got the frost giant. Now, you know, to fit within the stamp space limitations, you would have had to delete one thing, but we could have used our design from the left and put the frost giant body or torso over that one's body to kind of get that torso, and it would mostly be the same design, although the arms are a little bit different, so, you know, of course, that's different. Uh, one thing that I'm editing here is actually, I had him shooting acid just because I wanted to see what the acid, uh, I guess, shape was, and it was pretty much as I assumed. It's not really a uh, representative of what he actually shoots. You know, obviously the illusion there was that he would 
would be shooting out acid like out of his mouth or something but obviously in scribble knots they shoot it out of their hands so when you have shoot you know for a character it shoots it out of the arms or basically whatever you know type of thing it is like if it's a dog or something it'll shoot it out of its paws so of course it matters whatever your character is but here we go we're gonna create it differently now uh, just to add some more details and things this is actually going to be creating the body first and then we're gonna make the head an entirely separate object and then put the head on like it was sunglasses or worn on the face like glasses basically so we just added some like 29 page library arms you know for his feet and uh, you know just some other details like the letter I I placed down beneath the other letter eyes to kind of show some I guess costume design and so this is the head right here we of course started off with head as the source object but now we're gonna make basically the same head that was on our uh, previous reptile design you know so this is gonna look a lot like the reptile head from before now we do have a little bit more stamp space so we can probably include other design functions I guess if they are if I see them fit uh, fin is right there you want to take the organic fin of course for the mouth and we can actually do another fin so it shows that basically he can open his mouth you know <laughs> in essence it shows just a little bit more detail we have the kind of bottom jaw whereas on the first head we just did one fin by itself but it is kind of looking a bit weird so you know you can take it off if you want I think I'm actually gonna take it out of my design but you can put it in if you want it on your design <laughs> but I'm making it look mostly according to kind of the design that I had before with our reptile creation but we were able to add a few more design uh, things. I mean, it wasn't too much more detail to add, you know, that we got out of it. We didn't get a whole lot more stamps. The head, I don't think, was taking up a lot of stamp space for it on our original design here. So now I've got this evil, powerful monster thing, and <laughs> the reptiles are actually fighting each other because they were getting caught up in the match, but let's put the monster in between the two of them. Ah, uh, there's too many reptiles on the map. We need to take some of them off. Okay, that one's dead. And so th there's the interesting thing about if you make the head and the body a separate object, when the body dies, the head just falls off, so it's kind of like a Mortal Kombat Fatality or something. Finish him. Fatality. So yeah, I mean, this is just a comparison between the two designs of our reptiles. You can obviously see that they look very similar, but the one on the right is the one where we did a little bit more detail. So do it by either design that you like. I personally don't really prefer either one over the other. You know, it's just if you want the head and the body to be a separate object so you can add more stamps, go with the design on the right. This is never going to end, actually. <laughs> so we need to move on to our next character as our two reptiles are battling it out. Let's move on with another titan as the source object, another male titan. We're going to create scorpion this time and so take off the head and the legs of course just kind of like we did with our reptile actually I'm gonna go with a golem uh, thigh piece you could use the same thing the frost giant again if you wanted to uh, I'm just doing the golem for a different design aspect for you guys to see now we're gonna use Maxwell's brother Rex for the shoes and uh, kind of more parts of his legs basically the bottom half of his legs I would say the reason I've actually chosen Rex is because there's a lot of different layers right there you see that we colored most of them just this light gray color but then at the top we had a uh, brownish color some zoomed out images of, uh, you know, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat X actually show him with kind of a, I guess, not really a belt, but like maybe a rope or something brown tied in between basically where his knees are, very close to his knees. Other depictions, it's just all black. So, I mean, color it however you want to color it. But then he kind of has these light black or dark gray boots on as well. So we've taken the Frost Giant. We'll take both arm pieces of the Frost Giant actually and cover up the arms right there instead of using the Titan arms. This is another one where, you know, we, we could do just one object instead of doing the head and the body separately but I'm gonna go ahead and do them separately just so you can see more of the details if you want to leave the Titan arms on there you can go ahead and do that to save yourself some stamp space if you're doing the one design so now we've got an icicle this is gonna kind of be the dip in his uh, shirt you know he's kind of got this tunic on that has like a v-neck almost it goes very far down and then we've taken the tail of a barracuda because he has these kind of uh, circular designs which is these dots and uh, I guess they're like buttons or ties or something that are on his tunic basically you know, look at a picture. I usually obviously show you the comparison images at the end of all of these commentaries So you can see the comparison at the end and that'll show you what I'm talking about uh, I'll take the letter I just for some more kind of uh, I guess belt and rope details and stuff that are on his thigh right here And then he also has these kind of straps going over his shoulders as well And so they uh, they actually buckle down it looks like or they're hanging there or something And so since we've got basically a limited amount of space I won't go with all four of them, but I will do these two 
two straps right here hanging down. There we go, and I've got a piranha's tail. So just take the tail piece, the very, very far back tail of the piranha, and that's gonna basically be for the end of the straps. So this is pretty good for the design. I think that that's uh, satisfactory for the body. So we'll talk about uh, Scorpion's background information here while we're doing the properties. So here we go. Hanzo Hasashi, otherwise known as Scorpion, is another original character who debuted in the first Mortal Kombat arcade game. He appeared in every generation of Mortal Kombat as a playable character and has also changed his image from game to game, but much less than a character like Reptile, for example. I suppose it's safe to say that almost every Mortal Kombat character changes in appearance in slight ways between each game, but Scorpion often has this same look that fans have gotten to know really well over the years. You know, ninja with a yellow and black outfit. And in Mortal Kombat X, he's resurrected in the Nether Realm by Quan Chi, or perhaps the defeat of Quan Chi, and sees Shang Tsung's tournament as an opportunity to avenge his family and clan who were assassinated by none other than Sub-Zero. While I haven't played MKX yet, I have read a few spoilers of what happens, and it's pretty crazy. That's really all I should and can say right now. So we'll have him shoot out a grappling hook. Now, the problem is, with this script, of course it only happens when he is hit, you know, when he takes damage, loses or gains health, it says. Uh, but that's actually not the problem. The problem, I was gonna say, is that he's gonna shoot out the actual gun, a grappling hook gun. You know, not the hook part. And so, uh, you know, we probably could do some crazy scripting here that, <laughs> you know, I I guess you could just make something like insignificantly small, like a dot or a pimple that can be held in his hand, and then that shoots out something that, you know, I guess makes uh, other objects stick to it. I don't know. That's only if you want to get deep into trying to mimic the get over here move that he has. But of course, you can see now we've actually, uh, we're just working on his head and we've taken a rhino. You can just take the leg pieces of a rhino to kind of get that shape that's within. The T-Rex, you know, upper thigh part basically just above the legs and feet, that's actually this little piece of the mask right here, you can see that I painted it kind of this black net color. This is uh, going off of, of course, his Mortal Kombat X image, you know, of Scorpion, his portrayal. And so this is kind of one of the characters that we get to see really close up. Uh, I mean, Reptile too, I think. We had some uh, promo images and things like that of Reptile close up as well. You can see here that the back leg of the rhino was actually the main part of his mask. You know, this is uh, right here. <laughs> you can see we've just covered up the little dot. It does have a dot on it, but we've used the neck piece of a crane for those three little black parts that are covering up the little black dot that's on the rhino's thigh piece. And I actually like that the assassin, which we used for the main part of the head, you know, that is an assassin's head. I painted the bottom little mask covering his mouth. I painted that yellow. And I like it that way because it's like the, you know, we're looking at him sort of at an angle. You know, we're not just straight head on, but we're not just horizontal to the character. We're looking at it as kind of halfway between those two points. And so the assassin having that yellow part of the mask you know, just beneath this rhino part. There, I just took it away for a second. Uh, you could see which parts were colored yellow. Well, that's like the mask going all the way around his head. Or I should say all the way around his mouth, I guess. Here's just so you can see what the assassin head looks like, you know, before we edited it. There it was right there. And of course, I put on three little eyebrows. I'm sure you noticed those. Just painted them yellow, kind of for the top part. It's like his mask or whatever covering him actually has a lot of detail to it in some of these promo pictures and stuff. So I pretty much exceeded the stamp space. Or got close, I would say. I think there probably could be one or two more stamps, actually. But it all looks good. I mean, that's what I wanted to include in my design. So, honestly, this is the true test, right? We've got our scorpion design here against reptile, our reptile design. So, we'll make them fight. Uh, I'm gonna take one of them and make it hostile, and there we go. Okay, so now let's make reptile become hostile as well. And the <laughs> Scorpion went after me first, but it looks like they are battling each other now, and Reptile does have the advantage of- Oh, that was crazy! He pushed him into the lava, he's gonna lose his head. But I was gonna say, Reptile has the actual, you know, he's got a projectile, so he does have the advantage of having range, but he does a little bit less damage than our Scorpion does, and I gave our Scorpion just a little bit more health. I probably should have made them about even, though, so we might go in and edit Scorpion for that purpose. But this is just a quick test, and it looks like Scorpion is actually gonna be the victor, even though they were both pushed into the lava, although I think Reptile spent a little bit more time in there, but hey, it's stage hazards, right? <laughs> it's just like a match of uh, Mortal Kombat, so very fitting, huh? But there we go, of course, you can see that uh, I think one thing I didn't mention probably is obvious, though, but for the Scorpion, we gave dots as his eyes, so I did just want to make sure and mention that before I forget. But there are the two characters that we created, and again, I'm just creating these two characters. I mean, this episode is already over 15 minutes long in total, so I can't make, you know, every single character that was in Mortal Kombat X. Of course, you can request your favorite ones to be seen, 
mean, you know, I think Raiden was a close uh, call. You know, they, people were about to say Raiden and Sub-Zero, so maybe for another episode in the future, we could create them. You've just got to request it. The power is in your hands. But here we go. I guess we'll play out the rest of the video with these two contenders fighting here. And uh, again, like a fatality, you know, they take off the head once they kill the body. Basically, the head just falls off. So I feel that it's very Mortal Kombat-like actually creating them as two separate entities. And uh, I did jump and cut it out in editing, but we changed the Scorpion's health to be much closer to reptiles right there. So just make sure that, you know, if you want it to be, I guess, an even matchup, you do that. But our Scorpion still came out on top. So pretty crazy fatality right there. But I appreciate everybody's attention. Everybody in Kentopolis, you guys rock. And we've got a lot more objects still to create, so I will catch you on the next vid. And thanks for viewing. Road up, twist and turns, always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return to the rest of our lives. It's a spectacle we give. Been down the road of twist.